Hey guys, what's up? So I just posted a video of me cleaning my house because it needed to be cleaned. Now I'm gonna tackle my freezer, but first I need to go change this shirt because I got it dirty when I was cleaning and like breakfast and morning stuff with kids. So I'm gonna go change and then we'll do the freezer. <laughs>
Okay guys, so we are in my garage and I'm gonna show you what's in this freezer. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm doing a freezer clean out. That's why I had to clean these um, for the holidays and stuff. So I put my frozen water bottles up here because this is probably where we're gonna be putting some frozen, or some frozen ice. Come on guys, I am hilarious, some ice. So there's our frozen water bottles. I needed to freeze a few more because it's still hot out where I live. Um, these are just smoked fish that my husband needs to eat. So I put them out here because they weren't fitting in the freezer in the house for like what I'm trying to do. Um, I got an extra lasagna left over from the last time we had lasagna. We've got some hot dogs, some spicy sausages, and some chicken apple sausages. So we need to do something with those soon. Um, these are all from camping and we just never ended up using them. Actually, the last time we went camping went out to eat. So, um, I bought these for that trip and we never used them. It's hilarious. So I just got a bunch. So easy quick meals coming soon. Maybe hot dogs for like lunch or something. But yeah, the lasagna is much needed. I'm loving it. We have a, um, sorry, I couldn't think of the name. We have a beef brisket that my husband needs to smoke. There's nothing under that. It's just the brisket. And then two racks of big ribs. Uh, we ate that small rack of ribs. So now we have the big ribs so for whenever we want to eat them. That can just chill out here, these two. Um, and then we have the meat. This is stew, stew, and then I also have one more stew right here. Um, just for like a freezer meal. We have chili, a chicken taco soup. I might eat that chicken taco soup for lunch one day. Um, we have a sloppy joe left from the sloppy joes and some fajitas. So these might be two lunches. We'll see. Uh, we have two ham soups in here that I can eat for lunch. And then we have some uh, baked beans that I'll probably pull out for a party. Um, we got some white, white rice. So if I get another thing of white rice uh, in here, then that will be a future um, fried rice because I can just thaw two fried rices to make. Oh, I just clicked the off button uh, to make fried rice. Uh, what I was saying is I could take two of the white rices and that would be enough for us. Um, and then uh, ground beef, that probably sounded wrong. I hope you know what I meant. Uh, we got two cooked ground beefs in here. Um, that I can just like throw into a pan. I could thaw, throw into a pan and make something quick with. Um, it's good to have some pre-cooked stuff in here like that. I got two pre-cooked chickens that we can do like chicken and rice or anything like that. Um, chicken salad sandwiches, anything. So I got two cooked chickens right there that are frozen and then a chicken tortilla soup. I can even mix this tor chicken tortilla soup, tortilla soup. I don't know why I said tortilla. Oh my gosh, make fun of me. Um, we could take this chicken tortilla soup and we can take the chicken um, taco soup and mix them together and do a lunch with that too. So that's probably what I'll do. So that's all that I have in this freezer and it is looking pretty good and I wanna eat it down. So I'm excited about that. That'll be pretty easy. By the way, I have this pork roast thong in here. It's not done yet, but it was also down here. Um, but I took it out a few days ago, just so you know. Um, I'm gonna be making something with pork soon. So that's just thawing in the fridge. Okay, and now we're to the inside fridge, or freezer. I said, yeah, because I went from the fridge to the freezer. Guys, I'm tired. <laughs> so we've got frozen fruits for smoothies. Um, you know, kids are going to start getting sniffles when it starts to get cold, so I love having things like this on hand uh, for smoothies for, like, when throats hurt or whatever. Got some of that ice cream, and then this is all free. I got to free up this area right here. I'm so excited about that. I'm sure it will be filled soon with, like, more ice cream or like a bigger bag of chocolate chips for, for now. We'll enjoy this. Um, we got our vegetables. So I have mixed vegetables and a peas and carrot left in here. And then the back here is just corn and then some carrots. And then I have an open peas and carrots. Um, I have some broccoli that I'll probably eat for a lunch or two for myself. Um, we have green beans right there and then peas and then peas, one bag of peas or two bags of peas and carrots. So I put that there to go with it. I don't know if I said I didn't have any, but I do. <laughs> uh, a broccoli, and then there's like five bags of Brussels sprouts along the bottom here. So that's what that looks like. And then right here are the, um, so there's three bags full of Chetty So burritos for my husband, and there's one left over over here. Um, and then there's actually a chorizo burrito over here for my uh, Jesse to take to school with him. Um, and then this is the chicken pot pie filling that I'm going to use to make either a chicken pot pie or just throw it in there and have chicken pot pie soup. And this is some, I think this is, this is also a little bit of chicken uh, pot pie filling. So I can mix those two together. So 
I'm gonna put these two back here. And that's what that looks like. And then right here is all my meats. So I only have two things of, of uh, frozen or boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Um, I only have two of them left, so I can't cook anything with it now, but it could just stay here. Let me close this freezer. Um, but it could just stay here until I get more, um, unless I figure out something to do with it, but there's not much you can do with five people with two chicken thighs. <laughs> um, and then I've got some bone and skin on chicken thighs, which I can make soup with. So if I make, I think I have five of them in here. I can even just make roasted chicken with them. But if I make soup, then I can actually throw that, that in with it and, and bulk it up. Um, but we'll see what I decide. Um, and then these packs right here are the uh, orange chicken and I just kind of lined them up. And then I have some steaks here. Um, quick, easy steaks to make things with. Ground beef in the back. I've got some meatballs. What else is in here? Um, some shrimp. I think I'm going to make ceviche with the rest of the shrimp, but we'll see. I'm, I'm not sure yet. Um, and then I have one more roast left. Stuff this back here. Um, and then what is under here? Oh, and then I've got two hamburgers, and then I have two. Um, there's only two ground beefs back there. But I have two hamburgers left, and I have two... Um, two patties in here to make Salisbury steak. Um, and then I'll either make some more and freeze them as freezer mills when I get ground beef again, or I'll just take those out and thaw them when I make Salisbury steak again. Um, but those are fine for now. They're just pre-made patties. Um, and then let me move this back up here now. So, and I know what's here and I know what I can cook with. Um, it's funny how many shopping hauls that you see, but we go through a lot of food cause we eat out of our freezer almost every single night and for lunch and everything like that. So you know, for, for going shopping as much as I do, you know, you don't have a lot. <laughs> well, we have plenty. I shouldn't say that. But anyways, um, those are the French breads that I got for cheap from Walmart. They were like 40 something cents. Um, and so I have the plain one left and then I have some of the Italian one. Um, and this actually was good cut up, uh, and, um, with the stew. So I might save this for like stew or spaghetti or something and make some uh, bread with some come on garlic bread with it um, but it also is good with sandwiches um, I still have these sausage rolls left for um, the sausages so I can use those for the outside I have a thing of bread I froze some tater tots and then this is just some um, chipotle sauce that I froze and then I have one little bun left and one little roll left so those will probably be like for a lunch for one of the kids for school or whatever. I'm ignoring the deep now. Um, and then down here, I just stuck my two corns because I know I want to get some more corn. My kids liked having the uh, the uh, elotes. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, and so I'm going to get some more corn for elotes for dinner one night. Um, this is that celery that I chopped up. And then here, this is like my breakfast area, but I just kind of put the extra vegetables in here too because that's where it fit but I have like potatoes and I have bacon and sausage um and I also have actually you know what I'm gonna take two of these bacons out I think I want to do uh some BLTs for lunch one day so let's take those out um but anyway so I have some bacon in here I think there's like three packs left I need to get some more uh chediso um but I didn't see it at Sam's and then we've got some onions and then the leftover uh, pepperoni and stuff. And then a little bit of potatoes left um, that we'll put in our, we'll put the leftovers in our chediso next time we make it. But like I said, some sausage. So that is what's in this store. It's just a, basically a breakfast store with a little bit of leftovers. So this weekend, like I said, we might have some, uh, I think we're gonna have some, um, BLTs for lunch. So that is my freezer. Oh, and then also this is like almond bark. There's a there's a white chocolate one, and then that's a regular milk chocolate one. And then those are my um, chocolate chips. Some little popsicles for the kids, and then that is my ice packs.
better now that I did that. I really strongly encourage you to just go in your fridge. The other day I cleaned my fridge out, today I cleaned my whole house, and then afterwards I got to clean my freezer. So I strongly encourage you to do that. You will feel so much better. Oh, by the way, I had uh, three bananas in here. I'm gonna make some banana bread with, so they're just thawing. So in case you were wondering what I did with those bananas, I don't know if you saw me take them out. They're thawing in a bowl over here. But yeah, now I got a meal plan. So like I said, I'm gonna do some BLTs. Um, I'm gonna do some hot dogs for lunch, some soup for lunch one day. Um, you know, I might do soup on Sunday because we're gonna go to church. And so I can like throw in the crock pot before church and then that soup will be ready by lunchtime. I might do that. But anyways, um, and I have like ground beef to work with and chicken to work with. So I'm sure I'm gonna be doing some roasted chicken um, this week. I'm gonna be doing that pork for dinner one night this week and so maybe this weekend if we have time, if not this week. Um, it's still pretty frozen, but um, I'm either gonna make some pork chili verde with some slow cooked beans. Actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna make that. It's pork butt though, so it's got like bone in it, so I have to like cut it off and stuff, but we'll see what I do. I will definitely let you guys know. I am super excited just to have my fridge clean and my freezer clean. So please go do that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. We well, don't have to do that, but I hope I encouraged you. Um, and comment down below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, look out for Brittany, Cooking with Brittany Hoka for some recipes to come. And yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye. Have a good weekend.